y'all so today i am doing another coffee table mirror coffee table diy i always say that in the reverse order so i did one last year which was a smash hit on youtube and i thank you doll so much for loving that video and still loving it to today i did it in may so it's about to be a year old video in about a month's time oh my god a month has gone by so fast so i decided to do a different variation which is with louis vuitton because a lot of you dolls love louis vuitton and i wanted to do um something louis vuitton inspired so don't come for me louis vuitton this is not like uh i'm not selling it this this is just inspiration it's artwork i'd call it you know just for people who love that um definitely doing the chanel one next by the way <laughs> so yeah um this is inspired by louis vuitton i did this really quickly mind you all week i've not been feeling well so i've been filming this off and on as you're gonna see some parts were shot at night this was like almost at night i'm just trying to get this out there so a lot of it was rushed i'm letting you know right now so um don't come for me if it doesn't look all done because i didn't complete it for many reasons one the box was too small the man sold me a box that was too small from what i asked him to give me it was too late i already cut my mirror so i just was like you know what let's just do this as it is so i've only done one side the frames are too you know it's for a longer box of course so the frames you know i have to cover it up a lot went wrong in trying to make it but you know i just want to get it out there so you can get my point in making it so don't come for me and be like oh this wasn't done right and again i was not well when i was doing this so that's why you see the glue marks i was just kind of rushing and trying to get it done because this week has been a misery for me literally so and also for some reason t this time doing this project the dollar tree frames were trying to break on me it just a lot of weird stuff going on in this video i'll just put it like that but regardless it can be done and you can do it neater so um like look at that the end of that frame try to come off so i'm not you know trying to buy all this new stuff again i've already done it and i just want to get this video done so enjoy it as you see it you get the idea and that's the main thing this is how it looks like so grab your coffee grab your tea and let's do this DIY video and if you're new to my channel channel and you enjoy my content subscribe down below if you want to see how to make this neater go and watch my original video which I'll link down below on how to do a mirrored coffee table out of a cardboard box innovation yes <laughs> and if you're wondering that mirrored coffee table has been for a year I've put heavy stuff on it it's not breaking it's not coming apart I can't even pull the frames from the box it is holding up so for people who are wondering that one is still good I can show you that another day it's still good it still looks the same and I, and I want to put out that I didn't do the other side I only did the side that is shown to the camera so don't come for me either on that as well I'm just putting that out there I'm letting you know what I didn't do in this project so a, a lot of it was just rushed and I just want to get it done so here here it is um take it or leave it if you don't like it click off now like i'm letting you know before you leave hate comments down below click off now leave your thumbs down too if you don't like it and be out the door thumbs down help youtubers i hope you know so leave it and be out the door bye dolls let's get this video started oh my trolley i have my i've already put together the box the uh and cardboard box i've put it together duct taped it together ready to go so i'm going to take it inside low so they can measure it and then measure that picture frame and then we'll be ready to go for the diy so i guess grab your coffee grab a tea let's go and get this diy together Woo, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> let's go inside lows forgot to add you need to get a box that fits your frame so take your frames to the store when you're buying a box and see if they fit and then you buy your big glass don't buy your big glass first you have to measure the box and the frames to make sure they fit because that's what happened with my video and as i was cutting so i'm cutting my glass now the guy cut his finger on the glass and there was blood everywhere dolls so i'm waiting for him to come back so i'm getting my glass cut right now pray for him This is the frame that I get from Dollar Tree, the eight times 10. I typically always go for this frame because this is the height I want a coffee table to be. You can go higher if you want your coffee table to be higher. Um, and I typically buy three of them. You can do four if you want. I mean, I should have done four for this project, as you can see at the end. Um, as, you saw, as you saw at the beginning, I needed at least four of them. No, I needed 
yeah whatever so yeah and um, find a box that can fit three of them and three of them all the way round so if anyone can find that let us know in the com comment section below who can get the perfect box you can also trim your box down and cut it but that's just a lot of extra work find one that actually fits and go with that and always get your frames first before you cut your big glass in the middle because you will make a mistake do this one first and get this glass cut first that way you know you know you can't go wrong with this and this kind of lets you know how much glass the length of the size of glass you need on top because you're going by these frames you want this to fit this is the main important thing is these frames here you want to take out the glass on the frame because you're not going to need the glass you're just going to need your mirror so the mirror that you cut out at cut out out at Lowe's you're going to be putting it inside this so this is how it should look So now I am going to take my Louis Vuitton stickers and I was going to link down the seller but they were a real nightmare. They tried to cheat me. They're on Etsy so I'm going to link a different seller um, once I get a better seller than the original one that I used. She was a nightmare to work with. I'm not going to put her in. I'm not going to give her any advertisement on my page. I'll find a different seller. If not, I'm going to make these on my own, darn it. <laughs> like I'm not going to promote someone who is not going to be not going to ship you products on time so i'll find you someone else and i'll link it down below once i do that but i'm not giving this person promotion anymore on my videos so that's what i'm doing right now is i'm taking this off and getting ready to put them on the mirrors I decided to do was cut it off into strips instead of trying to pull the whole thing off in one go um, and you have to be really careful so it's not one key and they all kind of line up the same so there is a risk in doing it this way um, make sure you firm it out with your hands you can use a credit card or anything like that and um, I use the back of my fingernails because I just find it more easier and I make sure I go individually and make sure every single um, sticker is down really good and as you can see i'm just like cutting this jagged um you know look like i'm i don't know how to describe it but you can see what i'm doing i'm not like doing it in the line because obviously i can't if not i'm going to be cutting each sticker on every side so um just gently pull gently peel it like off the paper onto the um sticky part you have to be very very gentle and patient with this as i said you can't rush because look at this is the struggle i have is the tiny little dot trying to get it on there you have to be really careful because you could really rip them and they're like a vinyl type of material they're like a chrome vinyl type of material which makes it really look good when it hits the light have to be really careful when you're sticking them down make sure it's exactly straight and lines up with the other one if not once this down is down you're going to have an issue getting it back up and um, you don't want that because that's going to be a wasted project and as you can see i'm doing it again in like a jagged cut not a line because you're going to cut the okay so now i am just getting completing everything now and right now this can be some cute wall art like it doesn't even have to be a coffee table at this point and i was thinking of doing that if you want me to do that let me know in the comment section down below it'll probably be easier and cheaper for some of you to do this as wall art um it will look gorgeous too in a like a beauty room so i might be doing that next with chanel um i will be doing it next with chanel actually scratch that <laughs> so yeah um so now the peeling part is the most therapeutic and funnest part but still be careful because i have ripped some when i'm peeling them off it's so therapeutic and i'm gonna take some missing ones and just fill up the gaps that they have 
and fill it up, make it full and just make it look really pretty. I'm taking these stars. Well, they're not stars, are they stars? What do you call these? This, they're just flowers, right? I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm just filling it up and you know, no one will be able to know that you did this. <laughs> it's just totally random, but it fills it up and just makes everything look full. This is how your mirror should look like once you're done. Um, you can see one of the LVs kind of ripped, as you can see on my right hand side. So all my frames are done, ready for the side of the box. This is how they all look and I'm just doing it in freeze. So now I'm going to take my big LV shapes and I'm going to be putting that on the mirrors as you can see. And um, this one's easier to put, peel, I guess because they're larger than the smaller prints. But do you see how like I peeled that with ease? I'm just going to put it directly in the middle and as I said earlier this can go really good as some wall art like you could just do this and put it in a frame and you know boom done you have some beautiful wall out for your beauty room your um wardrobe your closet or whatever um your living room just wherever you want to put it it's just really pretty wall art in a gold frame now you want to take the back of your frame off and you're going to be putting that mirror inside your frame, which is really easy to do. Um, again, these Dollar Tree frames are really flimsy, so good luck. I'm going to be sticking the stickers on the big mirror that's the mirror that's going to go on top of my coffee table um at first I was thinking to leave it there but I thought no let's be extra and do like a Louis Vuitton print almost like how they have their handbags going across so upside down prints with upside down logos like facing each other you know how it is on the handbag so um that's what I decided to do almost like next to each other this is tricky so you really really have to keep messing around to get it right you don't want to like stick it and it's like completely wonky and out of place I'm gonna lie some of mine came out wonky um but not too bad to be where it's too noticeable only I notice it but as you can see I first like lay them down to make sure I have enough room this is very tricky How it should look like when it's done um you can't really get rid of some of the air bubbles it's kind of hard but oh well <laughs> so dolls i have all of them stuck down now and because this is a diy i'm gonna be honest with you so i didn't get this box sorry my headband <laughs> just fell to the floor <laughs> down there so i didn't get this <laughs> the realness so i didn't get this um box measured well he gave me like the wrong box um, so we're just gonna um, I'm showing you look look how much is hanging off but because this is a DIY I'm gonna be honest with you and show you that but it is possible to do it just get it measured so I can I could have just added a little bit more from another box but because I just didn't have the time I'm gonna show you how to do this and um, you know it's basically like my first coffee table so just follow that go and watch that video I can link it down below I'm gonna put actually no I can't I will link it down below so you can go and watch how to 
do a basic coffee table so and and also as you can see down here it didn't you know so I'm just gonna show you because I've already done this type of video before I'm gonna just like show you how I do the LV I've got the stickers down and I'm gonna show you how I do the other sides I forgot to add I'm using Gorilla construction glue and I use it to put down everything in this video including the heavy mirror on top So, I'm now going to put down the LVs. You're actually going to need glue right here. But for video's sake, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing right now. And then the middle one, this is totally optional. It's going to be this. But if I were you, I, as I said, you should get glue right in between them. Just so it stays really good on. And then the third one, which is another LV. And I'm just gonna put it right here. Oops, that almost went off. And I can go back and make this bigger, make this table to be longer. But again, this is just for video purposes. So just trying to get rid of that glue. So yeah, there we go and you have to turn that upside down so it can look really um so it can dry you have to turn that in a way that it could dry and everything doesn't fall apart this glue takes a bit long to set 24 hours make sure you leave it for 24 hours to set here it is dolls how it looks like at the end yes there's a lot of mistakes um a lot that I couldn't even help myself but the glue was partly because I was just rushing up wasn't trying to be attention like I wasn't trying to get it completely neat because I won't be using this because of the reason what because of the box not being the right size of the glass so I definitely can't use it so I didn't mind with the glue mark so um, yeah this is how it looks like and then also the frame broke one of them love the concept so much that I'm actually gonna go out of my way and find a frame a box that actually fits the three frames and redo this whole project because it's actually something I do plan to use like in a beauty room or just somewhere in the house I think it's such a nice conversation piece when people come over um I just want to redo the whole project again but just like neater and just more funner because um not having the right stuff um or not having the right size really kind of messed everything up and but I, it looks good and I like how it looks it's just of course the constru construction part I just need to redo it again with the glue marks not there and obviously using the right um, size box but other than that I love how everything turned out um, I wish you can see this in the daylight because it's so much prettier in the daylight um, it just sparkles a lot outside and I would definitely be doing this again um, probably Chanel next it, let me know what you want to see so if you enjoyed this video give it a big fat thumbs up if you're new to my channel subscribe down below let me know what you liked about this video and I'll see you dolls in my next video have a nice day love you dolls bye